The Lost Gardens of Heligan are located near St Hostel in Cornwall and its story is one of the most successful renovation projects in the world. The gardens were created from the mid-18th century but abandoned at the onset of World War II. Over the decades that followed, the brambles and the ivy took over this once beautiful garden. And it wasn't until 1990 that the derelict gardens were rediscovered and the restoration project commenced. And over the next three decades, the garden was developed into the beautiful site that you can see today. And there is much to be discovered on your journey, including a giant head sculpted from a tree root and planted with Mind Your Own Business and Crocosmia. The Mud Maid, which was originally planned to be a mermaid, however the tail was scrapped when the nickname stuck, and the Grey Lady sculpture, inspired by the mysterious grey figure once seen disappearing away from Heligan House. This was created from galvanised steel, and her appearance can change with different times of day or weather. However, the Jungle Garden was the main focus of my visit here. Even as recently as 2019, new jungle paths have been opened and the jungle garden is constantly evolving and new plant species being added because they're not bound by the same restrictions as other parts of the garden, which remain true to historical accuracy. The historically Victorian plant hunters were always bringing back new species to plant in the garden and this has given the jungle team the freedom to create this garden in their own image. So if you haven't visited for a few years, you're bound to see some new things, such as Calicia paradoxa. Native to South America, this spiny deciduous shrub known as the anchor plant has the most extraordinary spiny branches with fleshy, flat, triangular, outward-facing spines. And in late summer through to autumn, it has small, creamy, white, tubular flowers, which are sweetly fragranced. It prefers full sun or part shade and is hardy in most of the UK. Juncus acutus is also known as the spiny rush. It is a flowering plant found in a variety of wet habitats, such as bogs, meadows, marshes, or along the edges of ponds and lakes. It prefers moist acidic soil and full sun, although it's drought tolerant once established. Allegia capensis is also known as the horsetail restio. It's a particularly elegant but invasive restio, bearing lush green bamboo-like stems and soft feathery leaves. It prefers moist but well-drained acidic to neutral soil, full sun or part shade, and is hardy in milder parts of the UK to about minus 5 degrees C. Aloe Ampelo striatula is an attractive aloe with tall spikes of yellow flowers tinged with red as they fade. It grows to about two foot tall and it prefers full sun and dry, well-drained soil and is hardy to about minus five degrees. Puya chilensis is an exotic looking bromeliad with arching grey-green leaves. It's native to Chile and grows up to two metres tall preferring full sun and well-drained soil. It's frost-hardy and drought-tolerant. Agave salmiana is native to Mexico. However, it's remarkably hardy in the UK if planted in full sun and free-draining soil. It's monocarpic, flowering after 15 to 25 years before dying. Agave americana variegata is also known as the century plant, it's an evergreen perennial growing up to 1.5 metres tall and it's hardy to at least minus 7 degrees C if kept dry throughout winter. Cycas revoluta is also known as the sago palm and is a spectacular slow-growing cycad from southern Japan. It's hardy down to about minus 5 degrees, however it may tolerate minus 7 if kept dry and daytime temperatures are above 0 degrees C. Echium pinanana is commonly known as the tree echium and is a species of flowering plant endemic to the Canary Islands. It grows to about 1.8 metres tall, preferring full sun and well-draining soil. It's a biennial, flowering in the second year before dying. Furcrea fetida is also known as the Mauritius hemp. It's an evergreen perennial succulent with spine-free, sword-like foliage. It's fast growing and can be grown outdoors in the milder areas of the UK. 
It's monocarpic, producing a tall flower spike at the end of its life, which is a really spectacular architectural beauty. Hedicium flavicens is a perennial flowering plant from the ginger family, commonly known as the yellow ginger. It grows up to about 2.5 metres tall and is shade tolerant, although prefers full sun. It's hardy in milder areas of the UK. Hedicium gardnerianum is also known as the Kahili ginger and is one of the most reliable cultivars with dark green foliage and creamy white flowers, which unfortunately I missed on this visit. But the foliage is absolutely fantastic in the jungle garden. Canna tropicana is a beautiful plant with striking foliage and vibrant orange flowers. They need to be well watered and enjoy plenty of feed. Acer palmatum is more commonly known as the Japanese maple. It's a beautiful shrub or small tree and there are many different varieties with different leaf shapes and colours with some of the most attractive colouring appearing in spring or in autumn. Most aces prefer a sheltered shady spot away from winds and prefer neutral to acidic soil. I love how they've used this log to plant a variety of different bromeliads. They grow naturally in tropical rainforests on the bark of trees rather than in the ground. So will grow best with little or no soil but will need regular humidity and watering. Most bromeliads will not be hardy in the UK. However, fascicularia bicolor is hardy down to about minus 5 degrees. It's a rosette-forming terrestrial bromeliad with slender, spiny-toothed evergreen leaves that will grow best in well-draining, gritty soil if planted in the ground. When in active growth, it will need watering frequently. However, throughout the winter months should be kept on the dry side. Ricinus communis is also known as the castor oil plant. It is grown by many tropical garden enthusiasts, including myself. Although it's not hardy, it's such a fast-growing plant, it can easily be grown as an annual, providing large jungle-like foliage and heights of up to 2 metres tall. Although when not grown as an annual, it can reach 8 to 12 metres tall in its natural habitat. Ruum palmatum is also known as the Chinese rhubarb. Although normally grown as an ornamental plant, the stems are edible like common rhubarb and is reported to have a superior flavour, although I've never tried it myself. Cordylina stralis is also known as the cabbage tree. It's endemic to New Zealand and is thought to have got its nickname from the fact that early settlers used it as a substitute for cabbage. The green variety is hardy down to about minus 10 degrees whereas Cordyline Red Star will need winter protection if temperatures drop below minus 5 degrees. They prefer to grow in sun or part shade and can grow up to 3 metres tall. Persicaria red dragon leaves do start to turn green as the plant matures. However, you can see there is still a little bit of the red foliage left over here. This plant will die back to ground level over winter. Pleurandra elegantissima is a species of flowering plant native to New Caledonia. Its narrow, serrated leaflets give the tree a lacy feel. However, this plant is not hardy in the UK and will need winter protection. The Tasmania lanceolata is also known as the Tasmanian mountain pepper. It's a dense, evergreen shrub growing up to four metres tall and the bark and the leaves give off a strong cinnamon scent. It grows best in acidic soil and partial shade and is hardy through most of the UK. Cornus kusa is a shrub or tree native to Japan and Korea. In summer it has beautiful white flowers, however in autumn it produces these amazing strawberry-like fruits. It is deciduous but it's hardy in the UK. Alea europea is also known as the olive tree. It's a small tree traditionally found in the Mediterranean basin. It prefers full sun and is hardy throughout most of the UK and is also drought tolerant. Blechnum cordatum or chilens is also known as the Chilean hard fern. This fern grows best in damp or wet soils and with at least some shade. Fronds can reach up to about one metre in length and it is hardy throughout the UK. 
Contaderia cordata is also known as pickerel weed. It's a marginal aquatic perennial with bright green lance-shaped leaves. It grows best in full sun and is hardy throughout most of the UK. If you're enjoying this content then please do make sure you're subscribed to my channel. This is still a new channel so every subscriber really does make a difference. You can also turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss any of my new videos. And please let me know what you think in the comments because they really do help my channel to grow. You can also follow me on social media for links to my latest videos and my photo of the day in which I usually share photos of flowers from my garden along with their names if known. You can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, threads, or you can join my Facebook group to ask questions or share photos. And you can find all of my YouTube videos on the Freya's Tropical Garden website, which I will also be expanding to provide advice pages as well as items for sale. Links to these pages are included in my description.